video we are going to talk about the weight of an object on the moon. Now we know that the weight of an object on the earth is the force with which the earth pulls or attracts that object towards itself. And that force or the weight is given by m into g. That is, the, it is the product of the mass of the body and the acceleration due to gravity of earth. So here we is the weight of the body which is given by the force of attraction by the earth and that is equal to the product of mass that is m into ge. Here ge is the acceleration due to gravity of earth. Now the second case is the weight of a body or object on the moon is also the same that is the weight of a body on the moon is the force with which the moon attracts that body towards itself. So this force or weight is given by Wm equals F equals m into gm. Here m is the mass of the object and gm is the acceleration due to gravity of the moon. So these are the expressions which give us the weight of an object on the surface of the earth and on the surface of the moon respectively. Now a, a body when placed on earth weighs more than, than the weight of the body on the surface of the moon. Now this is because of the amount of gravitational pull of the earth and the moon. The moon has a lesser gravitational pull as compared to the earth. Now this has a reason behind it and the reason is that the earth has a greater radius and it has a greater mass as compared to the mass and the radius of the moon and that is the reason why the gravitational force or the strength of gravitational force of earth and moon are different. That is the moon has a lesser gravitational pull as compared to earth. So the weight of an object on the moon will be obviously less than that of the weight, its weight on earth and that is because the earth pulls the objects with a greater strength whereas the moon, moon pulls the, ob the same object with a lesser strength comparatively. So the weight of an object on the moon is less than that on the earth because the mass and radius of moon are less than that of earth due to which it exerts a lesser force of gravity. So this is the reason why the force of gravity is less in case of moon than in case of earth. Now how less is the weight of an object on the moon as compared to the weight of the object on the earth? We will be finding out that particular quantity in this video which is the main concern of this video. So let the mass of the object be small m which is constant everywhere as we know. Let, the, let its weight on the moon be wm and let the mass of the moon be m subscript m and its radius be r subscript m. So with this and applying the law of gravitation or the universal law of gravitation we have this that is wm equals g m that is the mass of the moon multiplied by the mass of the object divided by the radius of the moon squared. So let's take this equation as equation number one. So this equation number one basically gives us the formula by using which we can calculate the weight of an object on the surface of the moon. And in the same way, we can calculate the weight of an object or the weight of the same object on the surface of the earth by this formula. This is also coming from the universal law of gravitation. But here in this case, we have used the mass of the earth in place of the mass of the moon and the radius of the earth in place of the radius of the moon. So here we which is the weight of the object on the earth equals g m m by r squared where capital M is the mass of the earth, small m is the mass of the object and capital R is the radius of the earth. So this we will, this equation will name it as equation 2. So equation 2 gives us the weight of an object, any object on the surface of the earth. Whereas equation 1 gives us the uh, expression by which we can calculate the weight of an object on the surface of the moon. Now we will use these two equations to calculate 
the wage of the same object in both the planets or uh, in earth as well as in the moon. So on using this table, we can calculate the weight of the object on the surface of the moon as well as on the surface of the earth. So let us use the equation number one and on substituting the values of the mass of the moon and the radius of the moon in the expression number one, we get this value that is Wm that is the weight of the object on the moon equals g into 7.36 multiplied by 10 power 22 which comes from here the moon has a mass of this divided by 1.74 into 10 power 6 the whole squared. So this is the radius of the moon. So on calculating this or evaluating this we get Wm equals 2.431 into 10 power 10 gm. Here in this expression capital G is given uh, is the universal gravitational constant and small m is the mass of the object of consideration. So this expression or this equation we can uh, name it as equation 3 suppose. Now on doing the same thing with equation number 2 which was giving us the value of the weight of the object on the surface of the earth we have we equals g into 5.98 into 10 power 24 into m divided by 6.37 into 10 power 6 the whole squared. So here we have simply put the values of the mass of the earth and the radius of the earth from the table here. And on doing that we have we equals 1.474 into 10 power 11 g m. So let's name it as equation 4. Now on dividing these two equations that is w m by w e we get this quantity is equal to 2.431 into 10 power 10 g m divided by 1.474 into 10 power 11 g m. Now g m and g m in both the numerator and denominator cancel out and what we are left with is wm by we equals 0 0.165 which is nearly equal to 1 by 6. So from here we get wm equals 1 by 6 we. So this expression is what we uh, what was our target actually. So from this expression that is wm equals 1 by 6 we we got to know that how less or how much less is the weight of an object on the surface of the moon as compared to the weight of the same object on the surface of the earth. So here we come to know that the weight of this object on the surface of the moon is one sixth of the weight that it has on the surface of the earth. So this is what our conclusion is. That is the weight of an object on the moon is one sixth of its weight on the earth. Now let's say the, man, the boy has a weight of 420 Newton on the surface of the earth. Then its weight will reduce to one sixth on the surface of the moon. And that will become 70 Newton when he stands on the surface of the moon. And obviously this weight is much greater as compared to the weight on the moon. And how much greater it is? It is six times that of its weight on the moon. So this is how we can calculate the weight of an object on the moon if its weight on earth is given or vice versa. So with this, uh, we have come to the end of this video and I hope the video was fully understandable to you. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.